I have the wonderful pleasure to speak with what I think is one of uh, an incredible artistic curator, Mark Shuni. Mark, thanks so much for coming in today. And we're here to talk about the latest happenings at the Cessnon Gallery. Yes. And so, Mark, you have been an assistant curator for... Um, I'm on my fifth year. So I started um, in... Boy, yeah. It's um, four four years and some odd months into it. And you also have your own gallery. Correct. Art okay. Research Office, which is expanding its program outside of Santa Cruz specifically and getting into the East Bay and, and beyond. And the Arts Research Office um, does... Uh, Exhibitions, Correct. And some of them are conceptual also, as well as visual? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> um, we were originally formed inside of a white cube type experience. And um, as, as time went on here in Santa Cruz, I turned it into a more nomadic space. So depending upon the opportunity within the architecture, the program kind of layers into it. So at times it's very two-dimensional. Other times, if it can be, it, it's a lot more kind of conceptual, political, s social. Right, yeah. right. And yeah. you find the best artists. I was just in the uh, Sentinel printers. Correct. And there was an amazing collection of, <laughs> mm -hmm. of uh, paintings made possibly with ink. Were they... Right. Um, who, who currently we have Louise Lelong and um, Pat Appleby... Grant Wells was in there, and we just recently moved some of his work out of there, put more of Louise's work into that show. Um, is Louise's the one that are black and white? That's the one you're talking about, I believe, and we just placed some of her work, newer work from that, in Lupulos, which is uh, the new craft beer establishment. Which is on... Uh, oh, boy, what is that street? It's very close to... Uh, next to Hula's and to um, Hula's. close to 515. And so, Mark, where do you get your... Where do you find your artists? Well, I think, you know, Art Research Office does function on some level as a collective where um, I, I don't choose to do all of the work. Um, I choose to engage everyone as a collaborator and that we collaborate together and create these different, you know, experiences around exhibitions and beyond. So um, I kind of just try to select. I mean, it being here at UCSC helps. And then a lot of times, both in New York City, I found, and here... Artists that I start working with turn me on to other artists, and it just starts repeating from there. And many of your artists are from Santa Cruz. Um, n yes, currently the ones I'm working with are pretty much based out of Santa Cruz. Um, East, I'd say East Bay, too. It, it's kind of a balance amongst... Well, speaking of East Bay, we're going to be talking about Raymond Saunders. Exactly. Uh, the Raymond Saunders exhibition that is on uh, the happening right now at the Cessnon Gallery in Porter College. It's called Raymond Saunders. Black is a color. And it's been running from September 30th, and it will run until November 25th. And it's... Um, Closing reception is happening this Friday, Correct. November 20th, starting at 4.30 to 6 o'clock. And there'll be refreshments. And even more exciting, there'll be a... Well, refreshments are always exciting. But there'll be also, <laughs> along with the hip-hop artist DJ Gabriel Lopez yes. from our KZSE right here. Exactly. Who um, sometimes comes on the show before me called Dusty Fingers. And... So it's going to be a rockin' fun time, yes. and will there be will Raymond Saunders, the painter, be there? Yes, Ray's been on campus since yesterday, and um, he is is going to be here. We all, I also want to insert another event we're doing tonight. Oh, that's right. Um, <clears throat> this event is again music related, and and we can get more into this about how Ray's work really brings that out of people and and out of the experience but tonight we have um from 6 30 to 8 p.m a music department class an improvisational jazz class two groups of of students that will be responding to ray's work inside the gallery space it's going to be a great reception um this is coordinated by 
Kerry Hoffman, who's our CUIP intern currently this year, and she's also invited all of the CUIP interns campus-wide, and that's the Chancellor's Undergraduate Internship Program, a wonderful program that we really get some of our best people that help us run our year's program, um, Kerry being one of them. So that's tonight, and um, it, there's refreshments, and again, you know, not to downplay Friday, but they're both tonight and Friday are going to be amazing to see the music responding to the work, and this event tonight is called Black is a Color in Context, and the context being the the, the jazz, and, and we've been streaming jazz, I think we've talked about that, we've been streaming Miles Davis, uh, his tribute to Jack Johnson, the... Uh, the world pink. champion oh. boxer and and that's he's been an important personality and character to Raymond's uh, kind of way of working and, and thinking about his place in the world and um, we feel that the, uh, the the jazz obviously just adds to the dynamic of, of this exhibition and to bring some live um, both jazz tonight and then live DJ uh, on Friday which really interests me a lot too how that can be a part of it um, it just it just brings it to another level and this is all happening at the Seston Gallery in Porter College. Correct. If, if you haven't yep. been there, it's an amazing space uh, that's been wonderfully curated and assisted by Mark Shuni, our guest today. But I have to do a big shout out to Shelby Graham, yes. who has been leading this uh, charge of bringing incredible art to UC Santa Cruz. The exhibitions that she's done over the years have been amazing and Raymond Saunders is one of the best that she's done and that you've also helped I mean that you all have done and so Raymond Saunders if uh, people aren't that are listening aren't fully art historically up to date. Raymond Saunders is somebody who's been a big part of the painting community for at least 40 years. And uh, um, you mentioned the painting, or the boxer, mm -hmm. Jack Johnson, mm -hmm. but there's also a painting that was made quite famous um, that's Raymond's. Is correct. that right? That's tell correct. us, tell us try, if you wouldn't mind trying to describe what this painting looks like. Sure. Um, well, um, in in different ways, uh, Raymond his his work is assemblage. Um, I I do feel that Raymond is a painter's painter. Um, that he 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 pays a lot of honor uh, to the tradition of painting and the two dimensional object that that fastens itself to the wall. Um, but at the end of the day, he's also assembling different found objects or news clippings onto his work. And I believe the piece you're speaking of is the one that's in the back room currently at the Cessnon Gallery. Is that the one, the Jack Johnson one, which has clip, cl uh, news clippings from the New York Times that, that, that it's talking and directing you towards the uh, Jack Johnson and some of the history um, in 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 that kind of news reporting what we've complemented it by in that same gallery space the back space um is a, a streaming video that's uh that we've got a few of them but this is the uh one that ken burns did on jack johnson so it gives the viewer a little bit more insight to the history of who jack johnson was at that time um but for for raymond this is like this this piece begins as a found object in the streets of oakland that ray pulls into his studio it's plexiglass it's easily eight by four feet things heavy as could be and on the back side is still like the, the I think it was a Chinese food restaurant as I remember it. it's all still there all the offerings of that of that menu and he's flipped it around used the back side and that became the basis and the ground for then this assemblage of, of a composition so it's really strong it's a very strong piece and object which I think honors Jack Johnson too and this is this the same piece that's been in museums He's titled, see, he's used Jack Johnson, he, he floats and flirts with Jack Johnson throughout a lot of his work, so that's where I'm not... Sure, if that's the exact not piece. Not sure if that's the exact piece that we're talking about. But the, he has been exhibited exactly. uh, through the greatest museums in the U.S. Absolutely. And has been for many years, as mentioned. Mm -hmm. He is an Oakland artist. Correct. His history comes out of the East and um, went through a very formal program, as like Newton Harrison did in Philadelphia, and then migrated to Los Angeles, but then 
soon a- thereafter moved out of there and really based his home in Oakland. He still has a connection and a home in Los Angeles also. And he does, uh, as you mentioned, very large paintings. Correct. Paintings, I know one of them uh, is a door mm-hmm. that, again, he found somewhere mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and hauled into his studio. And these pieces go through transformations. Uh, the There's a... There's a history to all of them where he uh, puts something aside and maybe 10 years later he picks it back up and, and thinks that it's not quite complete, that, that maybe the time now um, needs that painting to have something else added to it. Right. And so the assemblage is uh, of different found objects, some of them very pretty, shiny, golden. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thinking of mm-hmm. uh, there's a beautiful painting right now, and they're all beautiful. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're all beautiful, but there's one where it's got uh, a Chinese uh, cartoon. Yes. Um, it's in the main gallery. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, and, and then he is an extraordinary drawer, mm-hmm. and he adds some bit of drawing in a, some part of the mm-hmm. the actual painting itself with and there's painting and there's uh spray painting as well Correct. um i think you can probably find a lot of different medium right. me, media mm-hmm. and he is also very political when you say Yes, but at, at the same time, it, I mean, that's some of the beauty of, of, of where painting sits is uh, it, it's, you know, in, in what I say in, in that idea of he's a painter's painter, I feel like first and foremost, he wants you to take the work in as a painting. Um, so I think the politics sits aside from that in, the, in, in that in that headspace. And then as you dig deeper, obviously, he wants you to open up all these doors uh, what you in ha- your mind. have you in your mind about where this goes and then even like who he is but it, i think in this time period in the 21st century and we've we've gone through many decades of multiculturalism this is a very interesting perspective to have an 81 year old artist that's make, been making work for over four decades you know say i want you to take in the work without being told how to view it i want you to just take it in for what it is and then come and talk to me or then come and look through the the bio or understand who i am and and go from there right and and I, there's just something really refreshing about that at least for me and and um I, you know i've been a fan of who who raymond is for a long time but then to live with the work as i have been able to the fortunate kind of place i'm in at the Cessnon, it's been amazing and i think what you're talking about just that idea of um there is it's a, there's a time-based quality there that's almost as powerful as video work you know it's it's he sits with this work this work has been made over a course of 10 years and he sits it might sit there for five and then he goes and layers something onto it brings something new to it it reminds me of like cave of forgotten dreams with herzog and and the the idea of discovering this this cave in france where 2,000 years pass, and then someone else comes in and makes a mark in there. Um, there's the, the idea of that layers, and, and you know, ultimately, my mind going into that film and that cave immediately responds to why I say Raymond is a painter's painter, that it's about mark making, it's about, you know, timelessness, you know, that there's, some, there's qualities there that, you know, it, it, obviously, we're in the 20th century and beyond with his work. We're not back in the Victorian age. So so it's not, you know, but it, it sits there in this timeless quality, I think, is really important. Um, I, I, I just feel like the responses, too, that we've seen at the gallery have been really positive. People aren't dismissive of, of this idea of like, oh, my kid could do it, which I feel like it. there's t- times where it could sit there, you know, but I think what you're getting at, too, with the draftsman quality that, that Raymond has, he, he, you know, he's been brought through a very formal, formal uh, you know, education before he then launched into his career. And that shows that he has that kind of back, that back structure and who he is and imprinted in his mind. And then he just goes out there. And that's the, the reason why I think jazz complements his work so well, too. There's like a structure there, but there isn't. And it blasts apart and it triggers different things. There's also a quality of beauty yeah. that cannot be overlooked. No. It is truly beautiful. These mm-hmm. paintings, you you are uh, immersed in them because they're so large. Mm-hmm. And there are quite a few of them in mm-hmm. the gallery space. And so you stand in front of them, and I, I have been overwhelmed by the beauty of, mm-hmm. of you know, I mean, 
you could you could try to make that statement oh anybody could do it but really that that's somebody without an untrained eye because Correct. i couldn't do it what he has done right. and and then compositionally what he's brought together mm-hmm. um how how he's able to bring these uh very disparate um found objects mm-hmm. and um create something Mm -hmm. (laughs) just wholly beautiful. Mm -hmm. Can we take a moment and talk about the title of this? Mark Shuni, the title of the exhibition is Raymond Saunders, Black is a Color. Right. How was that chosen? Well, that's, that comes from some of the history um, in, in how Ray, Ray was really active in, in the beginnings of his career in writing and um, this bases itself in one part on on some of that writing, and what he gets at some of the some of the one one quote that we've extracted that Shelby and Crystal extracted from his writing in that period, and we're dating this to like sixty seven nineteen sixty seven is um, where um, it, it has a, definitely rolls into Buddhism and whatnot, and, and kind of like this idea that the world's imperfect, and you becoming someone who's fighting he was looking at a lot of activism at that time and the civil rights movement and he he chose to go in a direction and speak to a direction that's that that if you are going to become an activist and be um confronting all of this stuff he felt that you're going to become just as 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 um you know just as volatile as the people you're responding to and trying to change and and so that was his perspective and i feel like that's where he he really set himself himself into this role of being a painter take that in first and then let's talk about everything else um so black is a color is as you know seeing the exhibition i don't think there's one piece in there that doesn't have a good field of black paint in it yeah. um so that um there's a there's a factual relationship to that title um, and then there's there's kind of the conceptual right, and and that's him trying to say, you know, I, I think it again rolls into this idea of like, it's not that I'm a black man, but it's that I'm using black as a color. Right. That, I, I, that's my take on it. That's oh, fabulous, uh, Raymond Saunders. He. His paintings will be at the Cessnon Gallery for only another week. That's right. Um, the exhibition, Raymond Saunders, Black is a Color, ends November 25th. It's at the Cessnon Gallery at Porter College, and there's a tremendous event happening tonight where at 6.30 there will be jazz musicians Correct. that are going to come in and play improvisationally. Two different groups, yeah, and they yeah. approached us through seeing the show. They approached us oh. in, in doing this event, and then we just grabbed it and, and started to really bring it into being a, a bigger event. But yes, two, two different groups from an improvisational class. And tonight. Tonight. Tonight, Wednesday, then, November 18th. Correct. And then November 20th, this yes. Friday, beginning at 4.30, there will be the closing reception. And correct. that goes until 6 o'clock, which will feature refreshments and our hip-hop DJ, Gabrielle Lopez from our... KZSC, and uh, tell us how Carrie felt that Gabe would be a good complement to this. Um, that was Shelby brought Gabe into it. So Carrie's coordinated tonight uh, the I jazz see. event, um, but but with Friday, Shelby took in um, some of the DJing that that Gabe does, and I'm not exactly sure where, and then invited him to come out. But again, I feel like there's just such a great idea of like the idea of sampling and, and bringing different layers into it immediately responds to Ray's work. Right. So Raymond Saunders is, uh, in a way, a sampler of yeah. of life and all of its uh, materialness mm-hmm. and bringing it together. I know that he um, would never like us to say any of his paintings are finished. Right. That That's antith- antithetical to right. his idea. We only have a few more minutes. Would you mind trying to explain that to somebody who's sure. like, how? is well, a he's, painting. No, that's a great um, little bit of conversation to close on. I mean, he, Raymond is known for walking into a, an exhibition of his own that's been set up for possibly a couple of weeks and opened, and he'll actually remove a piece from the wall. He'll add to a piece with, with different mark-making devices that might be in his pocket. <laughs> Um, so, so work never ends for him until someone grabs it. And I know there's one piece that we have kind of central 
it, it, it's, a, um, it's, it's as you walk in the door of the Cessnon. That piece, we exhibited a mid-career survey show of Rays in 82 at the Cessnon Gallery, and the, one part of this piece was in it. And over the years, it's, it, 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 it's, it's been used on book covers for different authors and different things. So it's become quite an icon for Ray, and a lot of museums are interested in it. He's had it in his studio, and he cracked open the frame, pulled out this work of art on paper, and actually added it to another panel, and it's become a whole different piece. So we have presented that in that way, and that piece was our poster for the exhibition in 82. And there was another panel that was associated with that that Shelby originally saw in the studio, and he talked a lot about how he's trying to challenge the curators in museums who really want that piece and and how it you know, he wants to challenge it and update it. And, like, so there's a lot of things rolling around in his head that are very conscious, you know, about where where the work sits and how it continues to keep moving if he has his hands on it still. Right. Yeah. And I think he uh, – we've had quite a few uh, events since mm-hmm. the opening, September 30th, mm-hmm. of the R- Raymond Saunders Black is a Color exhibition. And he spoke of – actually um, having the museum get a little upset with him Mm -hmm. taking it down and working on it. Can you imagine what Mm -hmm. the guards were thinking? Like, Mm -hmm. who is this person? Mm And, Mm -hmm. you know, they could be thinking he's vandalizing it, but it's his, because it continues to be his. Right. He feels that if it needs to change, he should change it. That's right. That's right. Yep. What an amazing mind. Yes. That he operates in a whole different way, doesn't mm-hmm. he? But he's mm-hmm. grounded, when you say, in the 60s uh, painting aesthetic or mm-hmm. kind of, would mm-hmm. you say? Yes. I mean, he has his different his different ways of working, both, as you point out, the way he's he's a draftsman, and he'll bring in the white chalk and, and draw these very, very defined um, situations, still lives or, or portraits, uh, insinuations of, of people's silhouettes. Um, and then, obviously, yes, and there's multiple door pieces, as you mentioned, that one door with multiple door pieces. And if you want to dig away at that, you know, metaphorically, what does that mean? to take a door and then paint on it and put it on a wall in a museum or a gallery space. There's a lot to be said about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sadly, our show has come to an end. We've got Dreams Burned Down coming up next. Mark Shuni, I hope, I hope, I hope you're going to be back up soon to tell us more about your work, both with the Cessnon Gallery and the Art Research Office. And... uh, Thank you for coming up and talking to us about Raymond Saunders. And I hope you all get to go see his exhibition, Raymond Saunders, Black is a Color, Cessnon Gallery. That's at this at our Porter College here at UCSC. The closing reception is this Friday. But before then, we've got a great event tonight at 630. If you love jazz, come out to the Cessnon Gallery. Um, oh, and then you'll want to hear um, our DJ Gabriel Lopez on Friday. Thanks again, Mark. Thank you. Hope you have a great day. You Stay too, tuned, Nada. everybody. Thanks for listening. Thank you to Vanya Benavides for live tweeting during the show. And stay tuned for Dreams Burned Down. Have a great day, everybody.